How's uh, Gorilla Style of Vanilla? Okay. Hey everybody, we're doing a little bit of some leftover stuff today, but we're also doing some fresh stuff. I got in my order of pork. We transferred all the juices from the vegetable stock we made. All came in here, so everything consists inside of here is shallots, onions, leeks. We got fennel root in there. We've got some fennel stock in there. So we've got all that kind of stuff combed in here. A little thyme, rosemary, salt, cracked pepper. Everybody's in the pool there. It's coming in really nice there. We boiled our beets a little bit. We got one yellow and three red ones. So I'm gonna be able to rinse my hands while I get it off. Our skillet over here is cooking hot. So we're getting ready to start the pork chops in there and sear them in really good and be ready to go. So just give us a few more minutes. We're gonna finish off these, slice up our beets, num nums. So uh, we're gonna get some happy food going here. So let's uh, break away and we'll be right in a minute. So taking the beets, we boil them a little bit and just slice them up more energy and put them in the slap chop. We've got our arugula cleaned out. We've got our goat's milk on here. And we got porky over here getting ready to go down. So give us a few more minutes. We're gonna start grilling those things out and making a big, huge smoke in the house. This thing's so loud, but so good. Just does things quickly, Chico. Boom. But this isn't a boom, boom, boom kind of thing. It's a boom. It's time to push it. Push it real good. It's time to fork some pork. We got a lot of beautiful meat. Got a little olive oil to start this off and get that pan so seared and hot. Wonderful goodness. We're gonna get a sear on that. We're gonna brown those off, caramelize them really well. And then we're gonna put them in my mouth. And it's gonna be happy time. Hmm. Did you put any seasonings on them? Just salt and pepper right now. Just salt and pepper. I'm gonna do a little thyme leaves on here. A little bit just to change, get some extra flavors in there. It's all about the flavor. Take a little rosemary leaves. Uh, and of course, you know, I'm doing my standard thing and everything. Boop, boop, boop. Just a little bit goes a long way. We don't need to fill up the pan with them or anything like that. I like my way I fade in that shot. And then out of the shot. This is always good at keeping Heather, Heather at bay. Back! Back videographer. This is a pretty fresh pig that just got butchered this week. So we enjoy getting these when we can. So. We're going to ramp it up production, so we're going to have the name of the farm of Wisconsin where we get the meat. We'll put that out there so everybody can see it and reach out to Brenda and her husband out there. Just to smell the aromatics of that rosemary and thyme hitting on here. Probably flipping these a little too early, but we're going to get them all. Oh, there we go. Our celebrity tasters here already. Come on in here, Pete. Get your celebrity taster. Uh oh, take the glass off. My main man, Pete. And he's our celebrity taster. He's been a celebrity taster for probably nine years. Ago. Even a lot of food here, just with my own. <laughs> yes, I always seem to show up for, at the right time, and that's good. So a lot of people do. Yeah, random. Now that the bright lights come on, we're filming it. So somebody always knows, like Jacob stopped by. Oh, hey, what are you guys doing in there? Funny how that draws them in. But now we know. Now everybody knows. Yep. So cooking these things down, nice and hot heat. Big steel cast iron pan. Oh yeah, baby. Everybody's in the pool having fun. We're gonna go. Hello. And round two. Round two's over there. Yeah. That goes to like Fred, my neighbor. So. We got our beets in there, so that's going to go on the salad here in a little bit. Sorry, it's a little disorganized tonight. We're just more doing this for entertainment. And this Pete was coming over. 
We're gonna let those brown off. We got our lentils in there. Come on in here, Heather. These lentils look like they're pretty much cooked. We got those things simmering away. Had the hot part here, so. Oh yeah. This is gonna be really good as a side dish. That's our good starchy stuff right there. Our pork chops, nice and caramelized. You get these off. Get set of number two heading on the way. So we're gonna get these guys back in the pool. Everybody get in the pool. So delightful. It's not frightful. It's delightful. So we got a lot of seasoning in here, so that's gonna break down and we're gonna have some more fun in the pool. Keep that heat on nice and hot. So it's gonna come to heat real quick, so and that'll be the fun part. So we're getting done there. We're gonna sit down, plate some of this stuff up, and we'll get our celebrity tester all set up. So give us a second, we'll be ready to go. Throw over the top of the beets, the goat cheese, and the arugula. So everything's having fun in here. So we have yellow beets, red beets, got that all mixed together. So we have our lentils stewed up nice. We have our wonderful porky choppies. And our fresh bread we just made in the oven. So basic recipe, three cups of flour, a quarter teaspoon of yeast, and a half teaspoon of salt. Meet that together, let it sit for two hours, then throw in a heated Dutch oven right in there for 30 minutes, and bam, we got fresh bread. So Pete, our celebrity guys, you gotta fit out his plate here. So a gram and a half, you said Pete, of protein in every tablespoon, tablespoon of lentils. So we figured he's got 10 tablespoons right there, so we're doing okay. Not a huge amount of protein. We're getting protein from the beets, nutrients, and then vitamin K from our greens. And uh, Pete's ready to go. Test away, Cheezel. Awesome. Chop. Next one. Lentils. They're not always, always interesting. Yeah, and they were so bad he went in for two. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's such a nutritious thing though. Yeah. A product that you eat it just for the nutrition. Mm -hmm. Right? It's even like even if. This is not how my mom made them. Yeah. This is better. <laughs> <laughs> they were kind of broken down. All right, well, seeing as you love yeah. beets, let's see about the oh, salad yeah. dressing and the citrus and everything mixed in. Get some goat's cheese and a beet. If you need more goat's cheese, just let the guy know. I know, mm -hmm. I can hook you up. More beets. Mmm, awesome. <laughs> and the beets are nicely cooked, too. Uh, rip some bread and see what you get out some more bread. I love beets, though. So. I know, I love them, too. I love them. So let's... There's a nice slab of bread, and just take a goob of butter right off the top. It's just go to town. He's like, I can do butter. Grab me, I'll take all this. You have more. Yeah. <laughs> Pat of butter per piece. That's what you gotta go. Very dense and hearty rest. Next time we're gonna be doing wild rice and uh, craisins. So we're gonna be doing some fun little baking stuff. We're gonna go Minnesota, you know, and we're gonna make some bread there with the, the, the wild rice and then some craisins. Very good bread, it's one of my mom's favorites. I have to make two of them, one to bring mom. But we're very happy. We got a good report from our celebrity uh, taster tonight. Another successful Marky Cooks episode. We'll see you next time, thank you.